Of course, in a down market, there are less closings, there's less inventory, there's less sales happening, but you can be just as successful through any market. Welcome to the Realtors Conspiracy Podcast, where we are dedicated to unraveling the secrets to real estate success. I'm your host, Maud Leger, and each week we bring you insights from top realtors, entrepreneurs, and innovators, sharing their success stories, mindset, processes, motivations, and the key to their success. Join us every Monday for a new episode and discover how to crack the code to success and take your real estate business to the next level. Don't miss out on the opportunity to unlock your potential. This week, I'm speaking with Mitch McKechnie from Remax Real Estate Center. Today's chat is all about grind and positivity. With a relentless positive mindset, Mitch has mastered the art of grinding and working hard while maintaining a healthy balance. So let's dive in and uncover Mitch's secret to conquering any real estate market conditions and closing deals like a pro. Let's get to my chat with Mitch. This podcast is sponsored by Sold Right Away, the experts in real estate marketing. You work hard selling real estate, we work hard selling you. From listings to branding, Sold Right Away has you covered. For all your real estate marketing needs, visit soldrightaway.com. Hi, Mitch. Thanks for joining us on the episode today. Tell us, let's jump right in. And what is the key to your success? Mm, Well, thanks so much for having me, Maud. Thank you. Nice to see you as always. Um, I would say uh, the key to my success would be the daily grind. So uh, having a positive attitude, uh, a a driven and uh, positive attitude on a daily basis. Uh, It takes a lot to, uh, to build a business in real estate and, uh, there's probably more lows than there are highs in your first few years, first five years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really discouraging. Um, but you've just got to keep plugging away and that's uh, keep relationing, uh, keep building those connections. And, and when you do have business, just be on top of it, be on top of it. Uh, uh, I want to say 24 yeah. seven. Um, Everyone does need a break, but uh, re- in, in real estate, uh, it's constant communication. Um, the clients, uh, they need you when they need you. Yeah. And uh, of course you do have to have to draw a line here and there. Um, you, you know, you can't be, can't be answering questions at, uh, at midnight uh, when you're not in say a live negotiation, which would be rare at midnight, but uh be available provide answers uh be genuine and uh and be be very honest as well um when you're not it ends up it ends up biting you um and it's not always always easy to be honest with especially list price uh because they are getting varying opinions and sometimes you'll learn what those opinions are or you'll learn what their expectations are and if you just go along for the ride uh, um, it ends up coming back on you yeah within a week or two when the house isn't sold yeah, yeah. Um, so that's uh that's sort of a little bit about uh some of the factors that i would say would lead to being a a, a full-time real estate agent yeah. um in today's demanding um, demanding world of tech and communication and lots of knowledge out there yeah. available to uh, buyers and sellers. So it doesn't, as we know, it doesn't just come from the chosen realtor. Realtor, you're hitting a lot of point there, like the demand of the market, the ups and downs of the market, the grind you have to put in to see the results in your business. Yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take a break, you can take a holiday, but uh, uh, you don't want to get too far behind. Um, yeah. Because like uh, like many businesses, you're always trying to feed the hopper. 
for the yeah. next uh, for the next harvest or the next season. Yeah, and, which is uh, interesting. You come from a business background. You had a business before, and what would be from your business knowledge, your background, and your real estate knowledge now? What would be one thing that you've implemented that brought you success in terms of business? I think it would be the. I think it would just be the work ethic really for both businesses, um, my honesty and my integrity. Nice. And uh, the eventual, not at the beginning, but the eventual knowledge and experience that I've been able to bring to the table, to, uh, to the clients um, uh, through just th through experience and gain knowledge and, uh, and not repeating mistakes, but uh, learning. Learning from them. Which makes me think, what is one thing that you've learned from yeah. your experience that is now a non-negotiable in your business? Ah, that's a uh -huh. really good question. Um, I would say is it maybe as it relates to real estate, is there are a number of uh, boxes that you really need to check when you list a home? Mm -hmm. And uh, if you miss, if you miss one or two of them, um, that uh, it may not necessarily be devastating to the sale, um, but it all plays back to finding that that perfect price. And if you if you if you did not go to market at that price, then these other pieces that you you could have missed or not implemented into a listing, yeah. um, they'll uh, they'll likely be brought up by uh, by the seller's friends and family. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and then to you yeah um, so a non-negotiable uh let, let's just say staging for example like not everybody wants it and you have to respect some of the homeowners maybe from a different generation that uh, uh would prefer not to have the disruption and in certain cases that's okay but nine times out of ten it's not okay um you've got to bring in the professional uh You've got to let them walk the house, um, provide a report. Uh, these reports are quite detailed, and they if they take weeks of preparation to to really get it to really really get it right, get the home ready for market, yeah. and uh, sell for top dollar in a, in a fast time frame. Yeah. So let's just say staging is uh, nine out of ten times it's a non negotiable. Mm -hmm. uh, we yeah. do not want to skip that step, and we don't want to lose out on that on uh, on the sellers the sellers money the sellers bottom line so you always have to juggle that the what they want what they need what you need to do to sell for top dollars so it's uh yeah it's yeah and there's not always enough time to complete the stagers uh list or report um sometimes you only have a few weeks yes um, so in that case yeah you take it with a grain of salt. You you buckle up and you get as much um, as much of it done as you can. You can uh, you're maybe not not always repainting the entire home or fixing uh, every every single thing that uh, that you're aware of. But uh, in the end, you're you are staging the home with with goods yeah. uh, to augment um, what you've already got, or sometimes. Uh, uh, replace what you've got and um, of course there's the the decluttering and depersonalizing side to that as well yeah yeah uh, which is done before the staging of course yeah you talked about the grind the day-to-day -day, the keeping the positive attitude what would be part of that daily mindset that are income generating activities that you do um well to maintain a positive attitude you've also got to take care of yourself nice and that's uh that's not always easy it's easy to fall behind on that uh, get busy you skip skip any you skip your physical activity <laughs> and you maybe going through a tim hortons drive through instead of making lunch at home yeah. um, but in order to uh, maximize your service and uh, your just your efficiency, your abilities for for your clients. Uh, you've got to take care of yourself as well. So I love that. 
not that I go to the gym or anything like that five, six days a week at five 30 in the morning. That's, that's not me, but if you can, uh, if you can set some time aside for exercise and, and meditation or whatever it is that yeah. something, um, something positive to start the day, uh, or it yeah. could be towards the end of the day, whatever works for you, but, yeah. uh, um, they go hand in hand. You can't, you, you can't just keep grinding as a, as a salesperson. And, yeah. I like that. That gives you the energy and the strength to be able to grind, but you have to take that time for yeah. healthy exercise, healthy eating. You said Tim Hortons drive through, right? You got it. Uh, they have wraps, but uh, all of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how healthy they are. But. Yes. Nice. Very yeah. good. That's really yeah. good advice, actually. Yeah. Mindset. Yeah. yeah, it goes hand in hand, right? Yes. Uh, for me, it's it's not motivational books or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, that would be for entertainment or maybe some history, uh, some knowledge on, on past years and world events and things like that. But it's oh, uh, nice. more taking care of myself and yeah. not in an excessive way, but yeah. to find the balance necessary to work, to be self-employed yes. and, uh, and to do it, do it day in and day out. Uh, You're hitting a really good point. Self-employed realtor it's you you're the business yeah. so if you're not yeah. healthy happy positive the business gets affected by you not being on point so yeah yeah hmm. you can easily burn out and i yeah. and i have and uh and it uh it does happen but <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah so in that train of thought when you're thinking about mindset positive uh, taking care of yourself, what kind of professional development or personal development do you do to keep yourself? Like, is it reading? Is it uh, audio, podcast? Where do you get that content for you? Uh, a lot of my professional development is, is learning by doing. Um, I do attend some of the events that might be put on depending on the season. Uh, whether it's uh, from another brokerage, our own brokerage, uh, there's some big ones in Toronto, and uh, those those are cool, but they're definitely not uh, they're not what keep me going. But um, it's important to just do some. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Um, they can be great. You can take a lot of knowledge from from other speakers. Take take little bits mm -hmm. here and there and apply it to your own business um yeah. so yeah, yeah yeah i recommend recommend doing some of that um some of that, that those networking and uh, educational events yeah nice um, and then it's just uh uh co-workers at the office and um we have a small team so learning from one another uh mm -hmm. Yeah. The more you get engaged in your office, um, I think the more uh, the more you get out of it, of course. Um, and same with your team. The more you engage, the more you learn from one another. And yeah. there's so much to learn just from the actual hands-on day-to-day experiences. Um, People are going through. Yeah. All of it. Nice. Yeah. You mentioned demand, like how demanding the market, the real estate market is and how it's up and down. You've seen a few years of it. <laughs> so yeah. how do you adapt to the changing market conditions? Uh, you just keep applying the same principles. Uh, you just That's keep cool. going. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't, uh, no single person uh, or government or uh, can can really control the market week in and week out. And uh, people buy and sell in every market. So you just uh, you remain educated on uh, prices and strategies, uh, strategies that are working to sell a home, strategies that are working to purchase a home in any given market. You stay up to date. And uh, you, you share those share those principles with your clients, and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully they get on board, and um, you just keep going, you just keep grinding. Nice, very cool. Yeah. 
what is your success mantra in one sentence? Well, how would you define success for you in real estate? Off of my head? Yes, I know. <laughs> um, I would say at the end of the year, uh, if, if all or close to all of your clients are happy with their, with their sale uh, or with, with their purchase or their lease, Mm. That is really the definition of success. Because if they are, you've uh, you provided them a valuable service. Yeah. And um, uh, s s of course, some of it is out of your control because you're only one side of a transaction. Yes. But true. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't measure my success in. Um, uh, necessarily the maybe the awards through the brokerage or they're kind of in the back of the head because it can be you know it's something it's something to give you some motivation yeah but uh, I think at the end of the day yeah it's it's the it's the uh, satisfaction level of your clients which we don't actually we haven't gotten to a point of sending out uh, any um, we we do get reviews but uh, we haven't sent out any uh Help me out here. Any uh, feedback forms? Feedback or forms, surveys, yeah. Surveys, yeah. We haven't done that, but it is something I would like to do. Yeah. I'd love to get honest feedback from my clients mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, rather than, can you do a Google review? Uh, yeah, sure. And eventually you bug them enough. And uh, they, Mitch was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get, uh, you get something like that, a five star. And uh, yeah. You know, um, so, so but I surveys, like that. Yeah. surveys after would be great because I'd love to hear what could be improved mm, yeah. um, and no better source than, uh, than a firsthand, than, than a client and end user. Yeah. Yeah. And I like the, the measure to be at the end of the year, was everybody happy? Was everybody, I don't know, satisfied with the transaction or the service you offered, the communication you offered, and that's good enough for you. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah, it is. And and on top of that, I would say it, it is uh, getting to a, uh, a level where you're fairly, where there is demand for your service on a regular basis. Um, because that uh, it feels good to be in demand when you work, especially when you work for yourself. Yeah, it takes time to get there, but uh, I think that is uh, that's a good way to define success. If you find every week you have people to help with their real estate needs, and maybe a week or two a year it slows down in the you know Christmas time or something like that. But for the most part, you you have clients that uh, are looking looking for looking for you and for your services that that's a that's huge nice that's huge yeah what is the best advice you ever received okay so this uh this is from a real estate coach down in alabama gulf gulf shores uh ricky caruth nice um i like his stuff i like his content he's uh he's he's very positive um he coaches for free so I just, I just listen to little snippets on maybe Instagram. Uh, I haven't actually taken his coaching program, but uh, so he always says he's infamous for saying this. And this goes back to market conditions. Oh, the market's down. It's going to be a bad year. He, he always says closings happen every day and it could not be truer. Um, it's uh, something I think of from time to time. <laughs> Uh, I just like how he phrases it. I like his attitude about it. Of course, in a down market, there are less closings. There's less inventory. There's less sales happening. But you can be just as successful through any market uh, because, and I touched on this earlier, that what uh, didn't phrase it this way, but people are buying and selling real estate in every single market. Yeah. Um, when they're in trouble, they may need to downsize or sell a rental property or two. 
Uh, when things are good, people are buying more and they're upsizing. And then uh, there's the real reasons why people move and that's life circumstances. And that is not dictated whatsoever by market conditions. Yeah. It may delay a sale uh, in an uncertain market. Uh, if people can delay by eight months, 12 months, they may do that, but they are eventually going to sell that home uh, because life circumstances have created that decision. Um, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, closings happen every day. Every day, that's true. Every single day, lots and lots of closings are happening. Yeah, I love that. We'll check them out. And then I love your positive outlook. It's so positive, yeah. so fresh. Yeah. Refreshing yeah. right now. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So tell us, where do we find you? Your website, your Instagram handle? Yeah. Well, you would know all too well because you help us go with that stuff. Yes. But. Our website is just mckechniebrothers.ca. Thank you. Uh, Instagram is McKechnie Brothers Real Estate Team. Okay. We'll add it in the chat anyways. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's where we are. And uh, we're easy to find. We answer our phones. Yes. We answer our texts. And we answer our emails. Nice. <laughs> the three uh, key to success, really, in the end. You don't have to wait 48 hours for us. Yes. That's it. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing your mantra, your story, uh, and then how you view the business and how you handle it on a day to day. I, I really think it's going to be helpful for agents. My pleasure, Mo. Thanks for having me. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked this episode, please share it with others to help spread the word. Together, we can inspire and empower more people to crack the code to real estate success. Mm -hmm.